Embracer Group is in the news yet again, not because of anything particularly good, but they did allow Gearbox to be sold to take two of all people. We also learned that Borderlands 4 is in development, or at least the next installment in the Borderlands franchise, whatever that may be called. But let's talk about what happened and what Embracer had to say about all of this. There was also another company that got spun out, but that one's a little less positive. Let's go over all this right now. So long story short, it is very good news to hear that Gearbox is no longer a part of Embracer for the most part. Here's what they said. After evaluating several options for Gearbox, I am happy that we have reached a solution that is in the best interest of all stakeholders. Randy and the team have been great team members throughout this past the past years, and I would like to thank them all for that. As one of the world's greatest game developers, I am confident that Gearbox will continue to innovate and thrive in their new home within Take Two. That's from Lars Wingfors, co founder and CEO of Embracer. As you may have heard, that is not the right camera angle, but anyway. <laughs> Wario tweeted about it. Embracer Group divests Gearbox Entertainment for a consideration of US dollars 460 million to Take Two Interactive Software Inc. Uh, as you know, Take Two now owns great franchises like the Borderlands franchise, the Homeworld franchise. They get good old Duke Nukem, which nobody has done anything with in years. But Embracer is going to retain some notable franchises that uh, should be noted. Uh, Embracer retains Cryptic Studios, Lost Boys Interactive, Captured Dimensions, Gearbox Publishing San Francisco, which is going to be renamed prior to closing. It used to be called, uh, I, have, I have the actual document open here. It was formerly called Perfect World Entertainment. So that has been a, a long standing company in the business. But they keep the publishing rights to the Remnant franchise and the upcoming Hyper Light Breaker and other notable unannounced game releases. So there are some things that are remaining in Embracer's control, but I, for one, I, I'm still a big fan of Gearbox. I still really like the Borderlands franchise. I am really, really glad that uh, Borderlands is in the hand of, hands of Gearbox. I think Take-Two is a good company for that for uh, Gearbox to be working with and for the Borderlands franchise to be working with because for the longest time, Take-Two has, I believe, been the publisher of Borderlands, if, if I'm not mistaken off the top of my head. So it seems like a perfect pairing, just like people who watch this video are a perfect pairing to become subscribers or hit that like button if they do <laughs> like my content. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Now, with all of this, there was a statement put out by Gearbox official. They said, joining forces with Take-Two Interactive slash 2K will help Gearbox ascend to our next level. Take-Two and 2K have demonstrated repeatedly uh, their commitment to our engine and gen of generating creativity, happiness, and profit. We set the bar for interactive entertainment and achieved remarkable results with groundbreaking record-setting games when we work together at arm's length as partners. I'm incredibly excited about what we can accomplish now that we're fully aligned as one. That was from Randy Pitchford, the founder of Gearbox Entertainment. I do have to wonder what happened uh, to uh, all the money that they were paid because they were paid uh, a lot more than this. I think they were paid a billion dollars or some insane amount of money and now they're selling for 400 million. So like, does does Randy get the double tip? <laughs> Does Randy just become more rich? Uh, here, here are some notable quotes from the press release. Let's see if I got them queued up here. So we talked about the what Embracer retains, but here's what uh, David Ismailer, president of 2K, said. We are thrilled to welcome Randy Pitchford and his team of passionate, talented developers to 2K, and we look forward to releasing numerous projects in the future as colleagues. We have loved partnering with Gearbox on every iteration of the Borderlands franchise and are excited to be in active development on the next installment of the series. Now, if my memory serves me right, I think Borderlands 3 was sort of mixed in terms of reception, but I really liked it. Uh, I played until I beat the game, and then that's usually when I stop. Uh, the end game grind, like there, I just had stupidly powerful weapons by the end of the game, and uh, it was it was fun. And 
That's what I like about it. The guns, right? Millions and bajillions of guns. That's their whole marketing thing. Uh, what else did they say here? Future Gearbox operating structure over on business website. Gearbox will operate as a studio within 2K and will be led by founder and CEO Randy Pitchford and his management team. The acquisition adds a robust and proven development team to 2K's incredibly talented developer community, including personnel that have worked together on multiple critically and commercially successful games. Gearbox operates studios in Frisco, Texas, Montreal, Canada, and Quebec City, Canada. Uh, Gearbox is massive. They started publishing the Homeworld series and all of these games. They brought back a lot of like classic games. So it is nice to see that they got picked up somewhere. Uh, however, there was some less than fortunate news over at Sega in terms of acquisition. The, the main focus of the video was Gearbox, but also Sega has decided to sell Relic and will cut 240 jobs across UK studios. Uh, Creative Assembly, Sega Hardlight, and Sega Europe will be impacted by the changes. Relic is best known for the company of Heroes and Dawn of War games, and recently developed the new Age of Empires from Microsoft. Relic will transition to an independent studio and will no longer be part of the Sega group of studios. It's really, really unfortunate. Uh, Creative Assembly had already suffered a range of reductions, redundancies following the cancellation of its Hyenas project last year. Sega is working closely with Relic on this shift, and we wish them the best for the future, wrote Jurgen Post, who was the newly appointed head appointed head of Sega Europe. The quote I wanted to discuss, though, was, I want to sincerely apologize for the worry and understandable distress this news will cause, particularly for those directly affected. These decisions have been incredibly tough to make, and they follow meticulous consideration and deliberation with leadership teams across the business. Change is necessary to secure the future of our games business and to ensure that we are well placed to deliver the best possible experiences for our players going forward. Here's that terminology again. We need to streamline Focus on what we're good at and position ourselves as best we can for the road ahead. In order to do that, we need to respond to the changing economic landscape and the challenges we're facing in the way we develop our products and bring them to market. I, I do think it is good to focus on your strengths, but I do think the next few years of game development is going to get a lot more safe from the AAA space as we keep seeing these stories time and time again. Uh, one somewhat positive note about this is relic is going to transition to be an independent studio wario also had this tweet out i don't know why i always see wario's first but we have an important announcement for our players and fans with an external investor relic entertainment will become an independently run development studio this is a huge change for us but one thing does not change we want to create amazing experiences for our players to our fans we want to assure you we will continue to support our titles including company of heroes 3 we are looking forward to the 1.6 update in April loaded with new content and features requested by our community. We want to thank Sega, whose support over the years and guidance during this transition have been instrumental to our success. We may be out of the Sega business, but we remain friends and colleagues. We are excited about this next chapter for Relic, and we hope you will all join us in creating new experiences for our fans worldwide. The 2024 reset continues. And uh, unfortunately, this is probably not the last of it that we're going to see. There have been a tremendous amount of layoffs across across the games industry. Um, and on, it's just an unfortunate time for the industry as it all seems to be resetting. Speaking of uh, people no longer in the industry, Jim Ryan is retiring. Today is the last day of Jim Ryan's 30-year run at PlayStation. This evening, he officially retires as president and CEO of PlayStation with Hiroki Totoki, assuming the post as interim CEO on Monday. Uh, Hiroki Totoki has been pretty brutal in terms of the cuts and the adjustments he has decided to make at PlayStation since he has sort of taken over in this awkward transition between Jim retiring uh, Jim Ryan retiring and Hiroki Totoki taking over. Uh, the company has been hit with 900 layoffs. You know, layoffs are rampant across the industry. But that is it for Jim Ryan. I would have to say that he can probably look back at a fairly successful 30 years. 
Uh, it launched the PlayStation 4, launched the PlayStation 5, which seems very successful thus far for the company. I don't agree with his policies, but there's no denying PlayStation has made a lot of money during his tenure. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Lots of just industry stuff today. I am trying to do more news because honestly, I can't just do Xbox news every day. Sometimes they don't talk about anything. So I'm like, hey, maybe you should just talk about what's going on in the industry like you used to. So that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when my content goes live. I do greatly appreciate you supporting the channel. I really appreciate the members. I updated this list very recently, so it should be up to date. Thank you so much to all the members who support this channel. I do appreciate you. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by becoming a member by clicking that join button on the page. I'm going to get out of here, but if you want to see more about... Uh, the Xbox handheld, if you are looking for Xbox stuff, that is probably the juiciest thing you need to watch. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.